What's up guys? I thought that I would come outside today, this afternoon, on this very nice afternoon just out here. You can kind of see, watching the sunset back behind me, here on my property. And just thought that, I uh, wanted to talk about a couple things. And one of those things is that we've had a lot of recent tragedy that's been in the news. And it is as if the mainstream media is wanting to continue their push for gun control. Uh, the narrative that they push, they're actually getting into the point of going as much as possible into stories that were typically only covered at the local level to push for more gun control. And we all know where this leads. If you study history, this is just another example of what happens before a dramatic shift in the culture of a nation, before it is overtaken by tyrants. I mean, there's just no other way to put it. The reason that I wanted to talk about it today, to come out here, is it's not just about gun control. I mean, it's just, we might as well say it, folks. This is a battle of good versus evil. You know, we have never in the history of this country seen a lot of the things that are going on with in our own nation right now. However, if you look at some of these other countries, things that we see happening here happened in those years ago. These big cultural shifts, these big so-called, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, you know, cultural revolutions and stuff like that. And a lot of this stuff is just pure evil. I mean, there's just no other way to say it. If this upsets you, I don't care. You know, the thing is, people need to talk about it. They need to point it out. And quit being scared to stand up for what is decent. Okay, simple human decency on things. And the reason that they want to take our firearms is because then it is much easier to silence us. Okay. That's the realities, guys. If you look to some of the things that have happened since all the COVID garbage, since all of the stuff that has happened in, uh, you know, with all of this, I guess you could say hate speech and all that kind of stuff, all this stuff is just a way to silence any kind of dissent for just this pure evil that's trying to take over our, our country, our culture. That's all it is, guys. There's just no other way to name it. Okay. What we've got to do is we've got to be willing to stand up. We've got to be willing to say, no, we're not going to give in to this garbage. You know, if you look at what happened in Canada, they've disarmed the population up there. Now they have hate speech. A preacher can read from the Bible and he'll go to jail for hate speech. Australia, they disarmed them. What do they do? COVID hits. They put them in camps. COVID camps or whatever. And we see the same pattern over and over again. And that's exactly why we need to stand against it. Some bit of good news. There's a lot more people, I think, starting to recognize some of this garbage. We see a... Recently, I think it was yesterday, from CNN, an article that they had talking about the huge uptick in firearm sales more people buying firearms because there again more people recognize this you know you are your own first responder you know here very soon i'm going to go to renew some first aid training that i do every couple of years because that's something else that i see as a benefit not only does it benefit me it could potentially benefit someone else that's something that i do i encourage you to do something as well learn about the culture, learn about the past as far as what has happened, and stand against some of the stuff. Quit being quiet about it. You know, the only way for evil men to win is for good people to do nothing to stop them. That's just reality, guys. Anyways, just thought I'd come out here, have a little chat, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Check out all the videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Check out all the links down in the description. And we'll see you next time.